Ever since I was a kid, I loved entertaining. I loved just the whole idea of coordinating and bringing people together and the festivities of it. I work at Jordan Winery, and uh, John Jordan also has a John Jordan Foundation, and he's a big supporter of a lot of um, doing a lot of great things for the community. And so Verity was one of the organizations he supported, and um, we were having an event, and so um, at Jordan to um, help raise some funds for Verity. There was a young girl on the stage um, who was so brave, telling her story, and um, it really, it really kind of resonated with me because it was pretty much my story as well. And it felt so weird because I, I just didn't know how common my story was. And hearing it from another person um, just really struck home for me. And, and I hadn't been able to talk about it. When I was in my 20s, I was in hospitality, just thriving, having a great time, loving life. There was a going away party that I was invited to, and I had a coworker who was very persistent, always kind of after me, and I'd always say, no thank you, I'm not interested, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, and uh, he was just very persistent. That evening, he, um, he insisted that I drink this drink because uh, it was too sweet for him. He didn't want it. And so I said, OK, fine. Um, but my boy, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. I, you know, there's nothing. He goes, no, no, it's fine. Just drink it. And so I did. And um, soon after, I started feeling very weird. I went into the restroom, and I tried to just purge because I knew something was wrong with me. And um, so when I did that, then the perpetrator came in and pulled me out of the bathroom. And slowly my body was just becoming numb. I was saying I wanted to stay. And slowly I was, I was losing my own senses of being able to speak and walk. The next thing I know, I'm being carried up flights of stairs to his apartment. That evening, I was raped multiple times. And I felt just, just disgusted and dirty and violated and empty and like I wanted to just disappear from the world. So fast forward 20 years, this happens at Verity where this young girl has my story and I'm feeling like, wow, so I can't talk about it 20 years later, but she's doing a great job. And she's doing that because of Verity. So at that moment, I decided to get, you know, get a therapist and start going to Verity group meetings. And I didn't want to just carry this anymore. Having gone through such a trauma like that, I realized you can ignore it and make it go away, but it's never going to go away. So what Verity has done is given me tools Verity is always there on all different levels. If it's going to be counseling, if it's just talking to somebody, if it's group, or if it's maybe getting you in there so that you can help others, whatever that looks like, they're very open with working with you to get you to a better, happy place. Yeah, I, I, I'm a survivor, and I can't believe I didn't ever think that I wasn't. I'm convinced now, and I feel confident in saying that. And that feels really good because Having the word victim in your head, it makes you feel like somehow it's your fault in some way, you know, that you allowed it to happen. Since I've been involved with Verity, I didn't realize how much is happening right here just in Sonoma County. These terrible situations are still happening every day. We think like this, you know, happens when we're young or when we drink too much. It's happening all of the time. So I feel like we all need to be aware of this, know that this happens, look out for each other. And when you see those signs where somebody might be struggling, see if you can assist them in any way because they might really need it. And it's just, it's more common than we think.